Hi and welcome to Gourmet Glenn's Country Kitchen. Today we're doing the Halloween and Bonfire Special. But it's all kiddified, so the kids can really enjoy themselves. I'm going to put my hat on. Now the children can really get involved. Halloween, and we'll make some soup for you afterwards, otherwise we can have some Catherine wheels, witches broomsticks, broomsticks for soup, other Catherine wheels of jam, spiders, ghouly ghosties, and a beautiful bonfire cake to finish the end of the meal. Now, so I can actually hear what I'm saying to you, I'm just gonna take my hat off now, because, First things first are the whirly gigs. I actually cheated, so I bought some ready rolled puff pastry, which is one of the bestest ways. So that's going to make our Catherine wheels. Going to go half, cut it in half. This is so easy, and the children do this. So you cut it when it comes to obviously a, a, a knife, adult only, please. So half. Get some strawberry jam, and all we're going to do is literally spread a bit of strawberry jam on one side. Marmite, yeast extract, suppose chocolate spread if you like chocolate spread. So we're going to spread that. Now this is a little bit tricky, spreading the marmite. So you might want to do that, not let the children get involved in that bit. And while the children are, you know, if you are doing this so the children don't do this bit, what you can make, if you get some strawberry laces for the children and some of those hoops, cereal hoops, you can thread them, get the children to thread them through and they can make some little necklaces while you are just doing the slightly tricky bits, the bits that the children may not be able to do because of the knife so you do that got like that if you tight you know you can tighten a little knot tighten a little knot and they can wear that around their neck if they're little enough or around their waist how about that for a little tiny cookie now why now, now what it's going to do now i've got a bit of devil in me so i've got the uh cheese a little bit of cheese over your whirlies, over your puff pastry and your marmite. And what we end up doing, all we're gonna do, not that one there, do we? Literally, roll it up. The end of the board. And how I've bought this puff pastry today, it's because I've cheated, is actually it comes with a ready-made you can cook on this greaseproof paper. So we just get rid of that. And all we do then is cut them. We don't want the end, there's nothing in that end piece. And then cut them about a centimetre. Just literally put them on there. And into the oven, about 200, for about 10 to 15 minutes. You should find that that should be should be fine like this. And the end bits you don't want, don't forget, because there's nothing in those. What I do sometimes is cooking for myself. I have a little bit extra. And then, when they come out of the oven. They look like the Catherine wheels that you can see on the front of our display. And I hope you and the children will enjoy them. There we go. There they are. You can sprinkle a bit of sugar over the jam once and we're going to pop them in the oven. 15 to 20 minutes, and they should come out like that. Another fantastic quick way. If you're gonna have a bit of soup, or the children, you can have some soup with you, 
breadsticks, dip them in some cream cheese, which I've kept behind my, so you can, you know, put, put, or, you, or you can break it, break it, chuck over there. Okay. And then stick twiglets. Twiglets all the way around. And how about that for a little broomstick? I think the children would love making those with you. And it gives them something to do, keep them quiet if you've got friends over. So that's that one. The other one is the witch's broomsticks. The big witch's broomsticks. So you need some bamboo canes, the ones you use for barbecuing. You don't need to wet these beforehand because of course you're not going to be cooking with these. The most dangerous point is obviously the point at the end. So we've got some chipolata sausages, a couple of peppers, and some cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to show you two, so we've made six. There's about six of us here for a little party afterwards. If I can just get these uh, out, that'd be, that'd be quite a nice idea actually. Okay, and then what we do, that's all right, that's just someone coming through. That's a ghost. <laughs> and we've got some cheese strings. Cheese strings go on the end. If you remember with the cheese strings, you just pull them apart and they look all like whispery, like the end of a broomstick would look. So you just pull them apart. But don't pull them apart too far because you need that top bit still together. Now I, funny enough, in my drawer at home, did find a star cutter. So I've got, I'm using the star cutter to actually, if I can do this, and we should be like that. So we go, star cutter, we're gonna cut into the pepper. So we've got one, I need to do two, so I need to I need two two red. If you want to use cucumber, courgette, and the other thing to do with the very healthy this is. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. And um, so all the all your bits of peppers you might have left after you've if you put them in with an onion and a carrot into the oven, slightly brown them up and put them into a pot, add a pint of stock, whiz it up, before you know it, you've got a lovely roasted pepper soup. So nothing goes to waste, nothing goes to waste. And again, extremely healthy. So we've got the sticks, we're gonna push. Now the children can do this as long as you've taken the edge, the end off, which I find sometimes with the heel of the knife, if you hit it, it takes the spike away, and make it much safer for the children to help you do it and keep them busy. And don't forget, carry on making the little laces for them. This is a bit small, this one. And also, I've got this lovely pumpkin face I put on now and again. And but trouble is you can't always see what you're doing. So I've got the sausages, and then you put another one of those on, another one of those. Look how easy this is to do. The children, like I said, we don't need to keep going about the children, but it is for them. So we've just got that. How about that for a broomstick? They love eating that with their friends, and they can tell their friends they have made it, which I think is good. We all do things together. In the kitchen rather than be just the parents all the time and I'm just going to do something for the parents as well we're going to um, make a bit of pumpkin soup finish off with a bit of creme fraiche there you go I can't see nothing now okay we're going to do some spiders some spiders you know those little tea cakes you can buy these quite quite good, these ones, because actually these tea, these tea cakes have got jam in the middle. So when the children bite into them, they're going to think there's blood and ghoul coming out of them. 
and we're going to make we made some butter icing earlier what i've done we make i call these little corne bags so you cut a little piece of triangular grease proof you fold it in you fold it back round the other way if you worked in a fish and chip shop you're going to do this really easily then you bring them together to make a point fold that in the top and fold it in again and now you can fill that with your icing sugar Got some fizzy strawberry laces I think I might do is just leave these here and, and so you can see what I'm doing so we're going to cut them into three and cut them in half again and once you've done this bit with a sharp knife get the children back involved yes now you might want to do the piping of the face on the on the spiders or you might want to let the children loose cut them all like that and what we do with a with a bit of the icing we're going to do because it's eight legs i think a spider has when you don't forget when you use these once again you just fold it in you squeeze at the squeeze at the back you keep squeezing at the front it will be no good for nothing so like that if you give it a little bit of a shake it sticks on better but I haven't got enough legs now to go on here I'm going to move that off the way a minute then what you just do is literally you can bend them see if they stay bent this one is better if you do it where you want to display your display because they are a bit tricky to move once you've made them because you're going to find these will stay here now because I won't try and move them just literally like that these are just sticking they're just keeping the legs in their place and one left that's good two bits for me now with some vanilla icing what I've done before I put the chocolate into the bonfire cake icing I took a spoonful of the white icing out and you can just do a And then we just um, a jelly bean, a smarty, or anything I can find. Oh, something's falling out. Is that my teeth? Can't get over that. So let's go and look at the finish, shall we? Oh, we've got everywhere. We've got these lovely little rainbow drops. We can stick them. How about that for a spider? I think the children love making those. Now for our ghosty buns. So simple, it's unbelievable. Literally, current bun. Cut in half. Kids like current buns, don't they? Bit of white icing. To get ready done, about a pound. I'm a bit batty, you can see that. Get it just a bit soft, because the kitchen today is ever so, ever so warm. And it's this is so simple, unbelievable. You might need a little bit of icing sugar. This is live. We haven't cut nothing, so as fast as I'm doing this almost, as long as you've got things prepared, you just can just get on and get it done very quick. Especially you know when it's the children. The children ain't got any patience, have they sometimes? Roll out the icing. Just make sure it doesn't stuck. And just get your bun, just like that, and then stick literally 
You can leave a little bit more to make it a bit ghosty fine. Just do another quick one. Because we're six of us, I don't want any trouble afterwards. And nobody's got what they wanted. This one has a little bit less ice now. Because I have to try and watch me wait this time of the year. There we go. So you make sure it doesn't stick. Once you've got it stuck, oh. There we go. There, once again, over the top, push it all down a bit. It's got a hole in that one. And to make an eye, what I found earlier was me. Was uh, piping nozzles. So what I just did, I went like that. And like that. Just like that. Slightly bigger one. For the there we go. Look, a couple of little ghosty ghoulies, ghoulie ghosties for the children to enjoy. And once again, how easy for them to get on with to have a go at doing it. Now, for the adults, a bit of pumpkin soup. Like I showed you earlier, did I show you earlier? I had some, I haven't, but that was on the last take. I did show you. So, we've got some pumpkins, a bit of curry powder, onions and garlic. But with the pumpkin, you must be just very careful. It's very, very hard. So try and make sure when you cut it in half, and you do still make it quite secure, for you to be able to cut through. I'm going to leave that over there. So what I'm going to do is show you. We don't really want any of the pips. So if there's any pips, Get rid of them. Now you've got to cut away. Remember, rock it to take the skin off. So there should be no no skin. So just look like that. And cut it into inch pieces. What about a pound and a half? But the recipe is on the website. So you know, so you know exactly what we need. And all I've done is, and I've just got to whiz it. Now it's going to be a little bit of noise. Put this on here. So there's the. It's been on there 15, 20 minutes. Here we go. 15, 20 minutes on the stove, do a little tiny bit more, how do you use this now? Oh. Give it a shake. Add a little tiny bit of milk to that. stop to that. We'll turn that off because uh, you adjust the consistency back in the pan. How do, you get, how do you get these things off? I don't know how you get them off. Oh there you go. You can see I use these all the time. So we put it back in there. We had more stock. I think I would actually put a bit more stock in there myself but of course moment for the minute. So I'm going to put the gas on, put a spoon, quick try, see what I think, if it needs a bit more salt. For me, oh my gosh, that's delicious. Bring it back on, and I'm going to take you back over to the table, and show you, and I'm going to finish it. So this is pumpkin soup. I'll tell you. We'll pour a bit like that in there. Creme fraiche. A spoonful of creme fraiche. On the top, like a quenelle, I'm going to do actually, which is when you 
I'll show you to do that later on in the series. Do like that. And I've managed to get some chives. Cut the chives, literally. And because it's the Halloween bonfire, special today, we've made some toast on a bat shape. This is meant to be a ghost. Ghost, and that's meant to be a skull. We could put the skull on there like that. How about that for a bit of soup for the adults? Now the last little thing I'll show you is the bonfire cake. And to get the shape of the bonfire cake, what I've done, I've layered, it was actually two six inch sandwich tins and a little four inch one. And what I've done, I've played it, put, lied them on together with a bit of the icing sugar and then with my knife, I trimmed the edge off, so it made like a pyramid. And those little edges that I've trimmed off, I stuck together with a bit of the icing sugar and stuck them on the very top peak of the actual cake. And then up and down as rough as you like with the butter icing. That is a Victoria sandwich. Six eggs, no, three eggs, six, six, six. As you do in Victoria, but it'd be on the website, I've laid it up. I've got another little bit of chocolate. I could just put up the top there. So all we've done, so we've prepared the sponge yesterday, ready for knowing in about an hour's time, we have got about six to eight guests over. So some of the stuff can be done in advance, some of the stuff you can see we do it here and there. And to make it look a bit, it looks a little bit, mm, Managed to get some rainbow drops. Remember the rainbow drops when you're little? Then I'll boil up myself. And you could just stick some of those on there. So this is ready for like a bonfire. Right. I won't do the back side end of it. I'll just do the front side so you can see. Now I don't know if you remember the Krish Comforts. Ooh, the Krish Comforts on there as well. So it just looks all light and there's the twiglets. Twiglets, so it looks like the sticks that have been put there. Imagine the children having a go of putting all these goodies all over the chocolate cake. I did make a chocolate sponge, we just thought it might be a little bit too rich. And a good old bit of flake. Bit of flake as well. I think I might keep the other few for myself to eat. Break the flake up. Stick that in there. Cool. Oh, that's a bit big, that bit in here, but it looks quite good. I think. Oh, I've got some other little worms to over bits as well. Got some, got some laces. These are these are those cola ones. Kind of laces on there. And last but not least, I think I've got some of those lovely licorice Catherine wheels. So put some of those, stick that on there as well, see if that stay on there. I know which bit I'm having. How's that? I think it's now done in the last 15 minutes. A little celebration of Gourmet Glen's Country Kitchen, dedicated mainly to the children. And I'll see you next time on Gourmet Glen's Country Kitchen. Thanks for watching the bonfire and the fireworks special. And thanks to my friends and family, as always. <laughs>